Hi there, students and parents. Deacon John Wilson here. I guess you know that. Um, for those who don't know, I'm the Education and Enrichment Director for West Angeles Church of God in Christ, where our pastor is Charles E. Blake II, who I faithfully serve. I uh, just wanted to get in front of you for a minute or two to update you on the student loan status, because I can see already there's untruths flying around. Uh, a lot of you got confused when you heard that there was Supreme Court hearing was held today. And they originally said they would broadcast from it, but they didn't. Uh, so we don't can't get any real insights. They may, they may release the tape later. Uh, but um, uh, I have an article here. I'm not going to go through the article. I am going to provide the link at the bottom, though. Down below, you can read it on your own to get all the details you want about where we are. But I'm going to present it to you in a way that's student friendly. I know you're really busy. And you don't have time to get all this type of information. So when we last left off, I told you that if you file for loan forgiveness, you'll have to, it'll be June before you know. So don't be deceived in thinking we know now. These are the hearings that court will have, and they'll decide the last week of June. We may hear about as late as the first week of July, but able the justices go home for summer or not. Uh, so you will know by July whether your loan is forgiven. Now the president and the federal government have suspended payments. And I told you in an earlier video, if you have more than um, $20,000 in loans, if you got a Pell Grant or 10,000, if you didn't, you should start paying on your loans because that's the maximum forgiveness you'll get under this anyway. Don't sit there and not pay on your loans. I know you're not accumulating interest, but I think the political pressure, if they lose this, the government loses this case, the current administration loses this case, there'll be extreme pressure on from his party and the Republican party for you to start making payments again, because our federal debt situation is out of control. And many people think it's contributing to inflation. So the politics going into election year may dictate that payments will continue. Uh, so uh, please be aware of that. If you have loans above those amounts, uh, let's see what else can I, I, I think, um, we don't have the arguments, they weren't released, so we can't hear what certain justices think. If you're wondering what I think, I'm gonna tell you again what I think. I think it'll be struck down as not constitutional that the Senate or Congress will have to work together, the Senate and or the House, and or the House, gonna have to work to form the legislation. And it may well pass during an election year, some kind of negotiated settlement. Uh, I think it's gonna lead to conditional loan forgiveness. Because right now you have loan forgiveness of up to 20000 no condition on it. Rich people can get it. Poor people can get it. I don't think it's equitable and fair either to, to students who, um, number one, <coughs> aren't of means, are not of means and can't get all their loan forgiven. And I don't think it's equitable and fair to people who didn't even use the loan system or get this novel concept, paid off their loans. I don't think it's fair to them either. So I have a separate video on that. Maybe I'll include down below some of those videos I did in the past so you can catch up. All right, I just wanted to update you. You might hear, oh, the court's going to rule on it. No, they're just having hearings now. And then in June, they'll finally rule on it. Uh, parents, just to remind you, uh, your parent loans are also up for forgiveness here too. You could get up to uh, 20000 in forgiveness if your student got Pell Grants and 10,000 if they didn't. Uh, so you should be listening to this too. If you did not submit an application for loan forgiveness, despite us sending you emails and notes, don't worry, if it's if it passes, you'll have a chance to apply then. You just get a little later than everybody else. A lot of people will get it right away because they already applied. And some even received letters of approval when it was stopped by lawsuits and by uh, of, on federal on precedent. And uh, there's also some, some um, private lawsuits as well by the states who have funds set up that'll be in jeopardy if this is forgiven. They'll have to refund money from it because they uh, collected money for, on behalf of the government for paying the loans. All right. I hope that helps. Uh, God bless you. Bye-bye now.